Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to Potato. Today we're playing some more Elemental and we want to check out this old witch character um, with the poison wand. So enemies get minus 15% speed. They do 50% more damage. We do 150% less damage. There's 50% more enemies and map is 33% bigger. We start with a toxic snake tooth and poison applies an additional time. Now poison's like a new mechanic. It look, kind of looks like it's double burn or something. It's like stackable burn. So I'm going to try this poison wand. Uh, projectiles leave a poison circle. It's very slow. And then chance to apply poison dealing two times two, stacking up to 12 times. All right, so not a lot of scaling, but we'll see how big this puddle is. Oh. OK, well, that's in that's going to be good once we get more puddles. I wonder how it decides when the when the uh, you know puddle actually spawns as opposed like for its distance. I'm gonna take elemental damage. Uh, fire fan. Um, we aren't required necessarily to go all on on this. Although toxic poison spread at full toxic weapon sounds interesting. So let's do that. Um, well, it would be nice to, to see one in the shop for sure. That was not a great, not a great shop one. It's kind of a struggle, but yeah, I want to see like, how is it deciding when it's going to trigger the poison pool? Also, this weapon is like disgustingly slow. But it does leave a pool of death on the ground. It seems to do a lot. So we've got something going for us. Take more elemental damage, I think. Um, I guess that's not going to increase our base damage because our percent is so low, but it is going to increase our dot damage. Mm, interesting. OK, let's lock the lock the toxic snake tooth and see if we can grab another one of these poison ones. They're extremely expensive. Uh, wait, it did it bounce the whole time. Am I crazy? Oh, it does bounce. OK. So that's how it decides it. It bounces off the first target and then it poisons uh, and then it puts a pool on the second target off the bounce. All right. Fairly interesting. Um, we're going to be running a lot. We're also going to need to find some way to grab all these materials. Uh, let's take harvesting. Pyroblast wand. It's not going to do anything. Take a snake tooth and a lumberjack shirt, I guess. Wait, snake tooth doesn't actually do anything unless we have minions. Unless this stacks with this. I guess we kind of need to find that out. Pure element. On take. Um, OK, that does nothing for us. I mean, eventually, I guess you can do something with it. But right now, that doesn't do anything. Not a great shop as we're kind of desperate for weapons here. I guess the tooth is good if we get um, any kind of like pets or summons, which we're definitely in the business for with this type of build. Um, We just set up a pool here and just like hang out. Bring everyone to it. That's not so bad. Need money. Need money now. Need cash now. Um, I guess we take luck here. And then take harvesting. Yeah, that's fine. All right, get a poison wand. Pick up range is going to be nice. Another poison wand. There's a blue poison wand. And then we get poison spread on the six tox toxic weapon, which I'm going to assume it works just like burning spread, which is going to be a big deal because everything is poisoned. Uh, seemingly. <laughs> we just need to do more poison damage.
it doesn't it doesn't scale very hard it's like 20 percent of our elemental but it's also completely unaffected by percent damage so that's an interesting thing i gotta remember the enemies do a ton of damage here we have to watch out let's take attack speed easy and then you take armor we probably do better harvesting's better okay poison wand poison spread one time five elemental damage uh the blue one has better attack speed and um the same scaling but more poison so we're gonna want uh to try and level up the weapons i guess faster than worrying about anything else and i guess percent damage is a dump stat for us and i don't know if it can crit so i'm gonna ignore insanity for now not gonna take a weird ghost take an ugly tooth i guess although we probably need some plus speed assumedly everything is going to get hit here um so the ugly tooth should pay off And it does stack a lot, so we got that going for us. The problem is, enemies do so much damage, and we have to wait for them to die. And we're very slow. Eep. Eep. Hide them through. One life, one HP survival? Okay. Okay, there's hope. I'll take eight HP. Three elemental damage, yes. Uh, attack speed, yes. Alright, the damage is up by quite a bit take toxic sludge take a piggy bank it'll be worth it um poison wand and magic book sure i think we need some hp regen from something here soon more attack speed does seem like it's where i want to be though um I don't know if it increases the tick rate of the poison. I'm going to assume not as well. I'm kind of trying to make a lot of assumptions here with how poison works. Which is generally not a, a great thing. <laughs> you end up um, uh, a lot of wrong conclusions by, by doing that. But uh, I don't know what else we're going to do. This weapon's very cool. I like the idea of like a uh, dropping a pool type of weapon. We got 342 materials. It's not bad. Um, ooh, speed. I, I want all this except crit, but I think we have to have the speed right now. Um, take three elemental damage. It's just the right stat. Polter limb? Oh, that's right. I have GMO installed. Right. Uh, toxic sludge is fine. Spicy sauce isn't where we want to be. Take an alien tongue. Ooh, good, a rocket launcher for one. You can take landmines. We could also not take landmines. I feel like that's a reasonable decision as well. Um, no. Grandma's flower pants. 20 range, poison efficiency what are the odds poison efficiency is the rate at which it attacks or the rate at, rate at which it ticks also it's plus four enemy speed all right i guess we're gonna try it for science but um f plus four enemy speed sounds like just death um all right <laughs> we might have just killed ourselves i don't know Ooh, unfortunately, I have basically no way to tell if it's doing damage faster. I have to pay attention to the... Ow! Okay, well, that did most of our HP. Unfortunately, I have to pay attention to the screen a little too much to tell, so if y'all notice whether or not it's ticking faster with the efficiency, let me know. It could also be doing more damage, but I didn't really pay attention to that either um, the previous wave, so I'm not sure. 
Um, enemies doing this much more damage is kind of a problem. It's gonna be a big problem later, and I kind of already forsake, forsook dodge in a bad way. Maybe we just get really, really tanky. Uh, sure, we'll take some lifesteal. Mm, take some HP regen. Um, we kind of need some armor. All right, there, there's there got to be a limit, right? Also, the snake tooth is actually doing nothing. Um, yeah, because poison wand. So this is if you don't want to use the typical weapons, you can do it with snake tooth. Uh, I'm going to not take grandma's flower pants here. Take acid. Take this alien tongue. I like the idea of bowler hat, but I don't think we can afford to take to make ourselves any weaker right now. Body armor doesn't really do anything. Let's just take the spicy sauce. It's fine. All right, wave nine. This should be all right. Um, mostly because the pools are going to drop right where the enemies are because they all kind of clump together. I think attack speed is actually something we're really interested in. Yeah, any items that increase enemy movement speed make me a little bit wary. This, this run is definitely much more difficult than our uh, than our Necromancer run yesterday. That's for sure. Although, it might be a little more interesting. Only in the sense of challenge. Oh, that could have killed us, I think. I wish enemies didn't do more damage here. I, I don't think that's entirely necessary. But maybe it is. Maybe this character's going to scale out of control. Who knows? Um, Can it stack with burning? I believe it can. Um, Three armors. Insane here. We could take 12% damage. Okay, what if we start getting damage? How much does this do? Base four. It does like nothing. <laughs> okay. We're going to... Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to ignore percent damage. It doesn't ever increase. Take harvesting. It's fine. Resputin's book. It summons a thing. Has elemental damage. I don't want to add enemies and I don't care about percent damage. So let's leave that. Heal Totem seems like something I want. Poison Mark seems like something I want. It also increases or lowers enemy speed. Holy Heart. 10 HP regen. Enemy minions have max more max HP. Five minions recover per minions recover five HP per second, I'm guessing. Um, so here's what I'm looking at. It's $142 for negative 10% damage, which has nothing for us. We get 10 HP regen. Uh, math adds up for me. Okay. That was an interesting shop. It would also be cool if we could find a way to like increase the size of our pools. Ah, uh, yes. The eyeball. The eyeball can poison enemies because of the... Um, because of the poison tooth thing we have, so we got some help there. And then this healing totem, which I don't know how effective it is, but I was kind of desperate for something like that. So maybe we can just make a pool of death inside the healing totem area and just kind of like hang out here. It definitely heals for a lot. Um, not like quite enough. To like straight overcome enemies. Oh, that was dangerous. And we left half our stuff on the field. Not great. What if we just take armor here? Get a little tanky. A damage totem. Um, I don't think that actually does anything though, right? Periodically buff friends percent damage. Yeah, it's. It's not actually doing anything. 
poison wand. Yes, good, good. Another poison wand. Okay, Toxic Tooth actually did damage last time, but I don't think we need it now. I would like a Poison Wand again. Yeah, this should be fine. Alright, so let's see if we can find where our healing totem spawns. Okay, it spawned right in the middle of the map, so that's probably a good thing. It's a Horde Wave on 11 when enemies are a little fast and we don't instantly kill anything. It's a little scary and a little... a little... tense about this one, but maybe if we can, like, squeeze through here and... oh... It does not heal enough. Oh, we're so dead. Maybe? Maybe not? Oop, we juped around. We sa we're, we're, we're saved. Back through? Back through the middle. Back through the middle. Wait a second, wait a second. We survived this somehow? Alright, I, I was sure we were doomed, but maybe we're not. Alright, more HP regen, probably. Um, burning activates faster. I'm gonna assume that doesn't affect poison. Because you would have to write in more code to do that and like actively you'd have had to actively name toxic to make it work better so we're gonna act on the assumption doesn't work i would like to take a white flag here i don't normally love that but it's where we're at a black rose bow does black rose bow help us here at all it's pretty slow it's like doing the same thing, only worse. Just does quite a bit more damage at once. I don't, I don't think so. I think we've got what we've got. Pretty interesting. This is kind of like playing a full... Um, what's the word? It's like playing a mage, a, a burning mage but with an um, using an exploder kind of in a way because like shotgun mage is fine you know you apply the burning it's pretty effective but in this instance we don't do any upfront damage at all and having the pool i don't know i guess there's nothing really like it in vanilla which uh, you know i think that makes makes it fairly interesting it's just really hard for Danger 5. It's just 50% damage on enemies in Danger 5 is a lot. Um, we could take 10 harvesting. Just take more HP regen. More speed. It's fine. Alright, we get a poison wand. Pure element. I don't think we have any um of those other stats. Yeah, we've done good about avoiding it. Another poison wand. Nice short wand. See, freezing I wouldn't be too against either. Uh, octopus? Yes. Yes. Metal. Strange book? I don't think we're... I don't think we're messing with that anywhere. Um, plus one... Poison apply times. So assuming this hits a second stack of poison, it is what I want. If it's increased the max amount of stacks of poison, then it doesn't do anything and it's terrible. But I assume it's I assume it's an additional applied poison, which essentially trip uh, not triple, essentially increases our damage by like 33%. Uh, on enemies because they're mostly dying in one tick. The problem is just the time between application to like the activation of the first tick of poison and just the amount of enemies there are. Um... Get through the middle. It'd be nice if poison could heal us somehow. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's an item in here that says like poisoning enemies heals you. I, I may have even seen something like that in my run yesterday and I'm just thinking back to it. All right, well, we survived a wave, so that's good. We just, we're, we're so far negative on dodge, we can't do it. Um, Max HP, I guess. There's a coupon, late to the party, but I'll take it. It's a galaxy orb. It's gonna be worth like six elemental damage. Uh, hunting trophy does uh, approximately nothing. I'll take some speed here. And star salt is fine, I guess. Or you just cute monkey. You know what? I'm fine with cute monkey. All right, this is gonna be a little scary, I think. Although the um, little guys are just gonna die, right? It's we are hitting everything. And normally the issue with them is getting them piled up away from you, but the map's pretty big, so maybe we're going to be okay here. Be easier than the last chord wave. I don't know. I love that poison's misspelled, so we just get to see it infinite times. It is a nice touch that it like, you know, shows that it hits. I, I, it would be something I'd be interested in turning off, of course, but, you know, I think they've done a really good job with this mod. Uh, that was surprisingly easy. Let's take armor and uh, boar armor. I wonder if it's supposed to be poor armor. Um, do we care? Not really. Let's take coffee. Let's take... Um... Tequila. Tequila. So if we take tequila, we get a good bit of money next wave. 10 harvesting. We do a lot less damage, doesn't matter, and there's more enemies. I guess we could take it. Take the te tequila. Ooh, legendary poison wand? I will, I will accept. I will choose to accept the legendary poison wand. We can lock this one in. Okay. Not so bad. So there's more enemies this wave, which is going to be extra money for us. We have a default, like extra, some stupid number of harvesting, 255. Most notably, that item doesn't actually increase enemy damage. It just decreases, it decreases your percent damage. But since we don't care about percent damage, it's kind of all uphill. Downhill? What's the saying? On the wagon? Off the wagon? I don't know. Look. It's all... I only know show references. Everything's turning out Millhouse. That's... That's... <laughs> That's what I'm good at. That and Brotato, my two skills in life. Simpsons references and Brotato, fantastic. I'm glad I've accomplished so much. Uh, a thousand materials is pretty good. Let's take uh, speed and get this poison wand. Picket sign. You know. You know, if there was an item that maybe was in GMO that wasn't exactly designed for uh, this witch character that maybe breaks the character. Um, and, oh, it's there can have two of these. OK, so I, I will take 64 luck and 16 armor. I think that's fair. All right. I think that's completely fair. Holy combo. OK, can we get another one of those? Uh, do we want a poisonous tonic? I probably. Attack speed's good. Honestly, all I want now is another picket sign. So, oh, spicy sauce doesn't actually do damage. I failed to notice that earlier. Oh, ho, 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 ho. how unfortunate for them. Okay, let's lock these things. 
What a bad time to be the enemy. I would have taken half a picket sign, like just the front. You know, that just said like plus 16 armor. But then it, it was like, oh, you flip it to the back side and it's just like, no, we want more. All we want is health care. This is all right. So we went from like straight up struggle bus to I don't know how we lose at this point. It was basically the best possible item for this character. Which is funny because that other character was made, that other item is made for the pacifist run, but. Yeah, I don't. I guess we'll take it because it's funny, but whatever. I will take four more armor, sure. Pick a sign, let's go. We now have 54 armor. Good, good. I guess. I guess we are interested in region stats at this point. We'll, we'll stop at 69 materials. It's always a good spot to stop. It's sometimes things happen, you know. You don't always get to, uh... You don't always get to finish 69. That's what happens in wave 17. I don't know where I'm going with this. Look, you, you know what I'm insinuating. Um... Yeah, we're as tanky as can be now. And we have our healing totem. Who just disappeared. Come back to me, my friend. Yeah, so much for their 50% damage. Hey, my healing totem's back. Also, all the luck we have now. wonder how long the bosses are going to live. Um, sure. Give me those grandma pants. Uh, I'm going to sell this, I think. We can do better. Max HP is better. Oh, a rip and tear, but it only hits for one. That sucks. Love Crescent Sickle. Give me purple scythes in like any game and I'm kind of a sucker for it. Unstable magic core. Sif's relic's a little late to the party, huh? I'm going to take it anyway. All right, wave 18 boss. I had to step away for a bit. My uh, cat needed attention. You all know how that is. Um, Maybe. Ouch. Is our damage good or not? I don't really know. He, he's definitely standing in a lot of poison. Yeah, we're not doing that much. We need, like, significantly more elemental damage, or maybe this weapon just doesn't do that much. Like, it can only stack so many times, and we don't really have a ton of elemental damage, so... I mean, it's enough. We died with 20 seconds left. It's a really good thing we got those picket signs, but I think we might have died here. Otherwise. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, we're absolutely, like, just unkillable now. Take a garden, why not? And a rainbow fish, you say. Plus, what? Plus 15 range at the end of the wave. Plus 8 luck, plus 2% speed, minus 1 HP. This item's incredible. I don't actually want it here, but it's pretty good. I guess I'm just supposed to take lifesteal. I think that's our like best chance of winning. Um, Ricochet seems quite good. Ice cube. Ice cube sounds incredible. Um, so does gnome. Final damage is pretty good. But is it like, is it good? Increases the poison by one. Probably more interested in leveling up our wands here.
All right, so we added a ricochet and that was about it, but I guess it's fine. You know, we had double bounces now. I guess that means our pools are going to be a lot more random, so that might be a negative. But on the other hand, it's an additional instance of poisoning. All right, just had to pause again. Um, they don't have cats that just decide to be a menace at like 3 a.m. I don't know why I'm recording at 3 a.m., but it is what it is. And, um, he is just on a rampage right now, and I don't understand why. I'm gonna try to finish this video here and get us what we build and, uh, get this win. I'm curious if we unlock anything. I don't think we do, but I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> these lucky pickets, uh, picket signs kind of save us here. The power of protesting, right? 852, wave 19. I'll take elemental damage. Uh, Vigilante ring is insanely late to the party. I guess we can try for the kill. Mm okay. Okay. Bandana seems good here. Alright, wave 20, final test of this build. Let's see how much damage this poison does on the bosses. Hit him with that. Poisoned. Poisoned? Oh, he's got the ice poison. Ice poison? We've hit new levels of poisoning. Ice poison implies fire poison, I'm just saying. Is shock a stat? A status effect in this mod? From the lightning stuff? I think that's just slowed, right? Um, we got some different colored balls from being frozen. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about icy balls. It seems seems like a lot. Too chilly. Too cold. My cat goes again. Well, now I need to kill the bosses real quick so I can go and see what the hell is the matter with him this time. My guy just does not calm down tonight. Well, uh, with 25 seconds left? Not too bad. Not too bad. It's taken for 400. It's not a lot. We definitely hit the max stats. Stacks. Because we had, what, poison stack number plus three. So 15 stacks max. But the problem is we were applying it at, like, what, one, two, um... I guess this is four times, and then... Didn't we have something else that made it apply another time? No, oh, five, six. So they were, like, hitting max stacks really quickly, so maybe... You could, like, poison wand... As, like, one item, and then have some other stuff? I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, that was a fun character. Um, different. Very different. Uh, there's no unlocks, unfortunately. But now we gotta go back, um... I've definitely beaten it with a bunch of these characters, but, uh, it, we lost to those. I don't think I've played Fireman yet, so maybe do that tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry about the interrupts from uh, Lord Kitty himself, but uh, he must be appeased. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.